Okay, I want to say good morning everybody, good morning and welcome, welcome to another video, it's a morning video, I come up fairly early, didn't get much sleep at all last night, I just couldn't sleep, um, yeah, um, yeah, last night, okay, last night I was filming a video for you also, uh, before I went to bed I made a video for you guys, uh, talking about, um, one of the age old topics of mine, that I've gone over so many times before, um, and yeah, it is, you could say, everything is our own individual viewpoint on anything, right? But um, I'm saying from my study and from what I believe is, you know, uh, or are the distinctions, the distinctions go okay, between traditional martial arts, which I prefer to prefer, prefer to call true martial arts, or, or at least use the term old, ancient martial arts. And uh, either way I say it, someone's going to chuck that back in my face and twist it one way or another. But uh, So those martial arts, the old martial arts um, versus um, MMA, modern martial arts. Okay. Um, it seems to be like, the standpoint for most people um so yeah hold on so what i'm going to say is in this video i'm going to give yet another e explanation of how i see it right the difference um trying to shed some light on traditional martial arts old martial arts for the people that have no clue or very little clue uh what it's about and just want to slate it all the time and then furthermore look at me and my skinny physique or my you know, I'm not the most I'm not the most shredded, ripped muscle man, and I I'll give you that. But they just want to find every little, you know, cherry picking basically is what it's what it is nonsense. They will find video videos on YouTube of of um, here and there in the recent years, you know, of, um, of kung fu artists getting their ass beat and aikido artists getting their ass beat and stuff by MMA, you know. The real deal stuff, you know, which you know, I hand it to them. They're great fighters and they're great athletes, but they'll pick all that stuff and they'll say, "Yeah, you see, man, kung fu is nonsense." You know, traditional martial arts or the old old school stuff that I'm talking about. Oh, that's all nonsense, man. Bullshito is right there. You're just watching too many kung fu movies, man. Uh, you, you, what you need to do is you need to get on the weights, man, and get on the, bring your body into some power because you're looking too skinny. And they give me all this shit, right? <coughs> I've covered in the other video about how important it is to keep some physique. Uh, you know, so obviously, you know, it, it, if you're going to be more muscly and more lean and more shredded or whatever the fuck, you know, ripped, then, yeah, of course you're going to have a bit more of a power, more of a body for certain things that's going to be good but you see kung fu and the old school martial arts the traditional martial arts you know the old styles like kung fu arts uh and karate and stuff like that and especially aikido tai chi okay taiji tai bagua and of course wing chun which is what something i practice a lot of wing chun you know yeah you know yeah it's this these arts are, 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 are are very different because of course you may see some people like of any martial arts you'll see people with like a good build and strong muscly body not everybody's skinny per se not everybody's uh i mean you know that's where people misunderstand it's not to say that you're weak and skinny like you've got to have some physique you've got to work out we're not just saying it's okay to have like a low level physique no no way the power is not always seen the the gung fu basically the, the the hard the power that what has been developed over training and um i've been trying to think of yet another way to explain it because people do not understand they think i'm trying to make up bullshit like oh man you've got to know all these fancy moves man oh you know and a, a lot of people like regard it like you know we don't need to know all that bullshit man we, you know you just need just need some good strong working out physique and a few structured techniques that work, you know, and sounds all good in that, and they stick to the MMA, but 
and it looks good in this modern day but the thing is they don't realize what they're rejecting and they want to turn it around and say oh you know they think that i'm trying to say for example people like me are trying to say we're all in the bullshit of uh, the bullshit bag of nonsense all we're into this fairy tale cult you know and <laughs> make believe nonsense and um, <coughs> it's okay to be <coughs> skinny you know and win fights and <laughs> you can do it you know anything's possible <laughs> no way i'm not saying that i'm not saying that right is it possible for an expert of of kung fu let's say a, a master or someone of a really high level to beat a, a shredded muscled up mma fighter the top what's out there now is it possible of course it's damn possible because anything's possible uh the, the same way as you know um anything can be possible it depends on the angle of it you know how it is you know um you know um you could be dancing around in the kitchen and slip and fall and hurt yourself you know it's like that the room didn't do anything it was all you <laughs> or like you know a big muscle man could come running up to you and as soon as you hold a knife out uh, it, oh, you're gonna get stuck on it right so he's gonna like move around you see? So this is what the master plays like. You you could fall in water and just drown, drown. You know, in water. You know, it's like air, air and water, the best example. You can't grab air. You can't grab water. That you the water absorbs your power and then the flow pushes you away, uh, and that's that's what happens. How do you think tides? You know, can drag things away. And you know, the flows of rivers and streams. You know, but. Let's get back to the thing of what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, so, yeah, you know. So let, let's, get, let's get, you know, look at the way boats are designed, you know, boats or any raft. So how they how they float. If there was a certain different shape, they go straight to the bottom. But it's because the weight's distributed and then the, the water's flowing with that, and, it, and it's, it's. So let's get back to the thing, right? When it comes to um, when it comes to these arts, okay, yes, it's true. The traditional arts are developed. There's so many skills that are developed which use uh, the soft method, use a balance between soft and hard. Uh, and you may say that that exists also in MMA. Fair enough, in certain aspects, certain ways it does. But the true traditional martial arts, there's so many useful techniques that people don't realize, okay, that exist in, in Kung Fu and the systems and Aikido and Tai Chi and Bagua, things like that. Wing Chun. Ninjutsu, the Taijutsu bare hands, for example. You know, in Olympic Games, there's, uh, you know, in the Olympic, the Olympic weightlifting, whatever, championships, whatever, and you get uh, Olympic like, sword fencing. Sword fencing. Now, which one's better, man? You know, oh, you know, it's not a case, it's not a case of which one's better, is it? They're just two different fucking things, excuse my language, you know. So, it's not always, oh man, come on. Show me your mantis kung fu, man. Stand up to me, man. Tough MMA guy. You know, it's, it's not the point. They might actually be possible able to beat you, depending on the skill. It's not about power. It's about skill sometimes, right? Everybody's got weak points and they're open to attack sometimes. But but still, it's still not the point, though. We're not saying we, what beats what. Different things work at different times, and we train these different things for different reasons. You don't train, you don't, you know, like I said before, a writer or a, a bricklayer, they're just two, you know, working on a building site. That's totally different from someone who's a writer or an, or an artist. Which one's more powerful, man? You know, it's nonsense. It's just nonsense to say that, you know. It really, really is nonsense. So, <coughs> you know, and here's the thing, right? So... Okay, so tradi traditional martial arts get old, ancient martial arts, kung fu and stuff. Okay, these arts, they design a, a lot of skills, a lot of the skill. Like, let's just say certain skills, they're designed, and certain systems are designed for different purposes. You don't say, oh, which one's better, this one or that one. They're designed for different purposes. You know that yourself, even from your MMA training, whoever you are, if, you, if you've done MMA, you'll know yourself. Uh, jiu-jitsu some kind of lock takedown grapple or something that's different from standing there throwing a high roundhouse kick or, or whatever isn't it a high roundhouse kick or some spinning kick isn't it it's just a totally different situation different times that we needed 
okay there's a time for learning about first aid in the world around you and the time for knowing about fucking whatever it is your business fucking deals or whatever you're working your job or whatever it is uh, and other stuff you know it's different it's just different knowledge so people are wrong when they turn around and they say that this stuff is to be compared with mma you know it really is it's like it's like you know it's like getting, it's like taking a yeah it's like taking a sword fencer okay a fencer you know that fencing you see i'm not really into it i like the uh, I like you know the other Chinese and like Japanese sword styles and martial arts, but let's just say fencing. No, it's fascinating. Fencing, fencing, okay, sword fencing. You see in the Olympics, okay, it's like getting one of those guys and trying to say, oh, now compare, compare your physical, your physique, man. Compare your attributes. Now compare uh, and let him take part in a weightlifting competition. Of course he's going to lose, and of course you're going to say that's because he's too skinny, that's because he's this and that, and he needs to do more, he needs more nutrition, more fucking work in the gym and all this shit, you know. And you know, you get the you, you get the weightlifting guy, the, or the you know, bodybuilder, to try and do the fencing, he ain't going to have the same skill, the agility, the same, it doesn't matter how strong he is or whatever. He just isn't going to move the same. Fuck, you can get anyone, you can get... Uh, you know, athletic like MMA fighter even versus um, a fencer. Just a, the fencer could be holding a sword. He could be holding nothing. But the thing is, they're going to move differently. They're going to move differently. You can get someone who's a very fast worker. You know, you see these videos online with super fast, superhuman fast speed workers and stuff. They're fast at what they do. You know. But they, or it could be a, it could be it could be a boxer it could be a kickboxer it could be a boxer let's say like a championship boxer okay and then you get some other guy who's like super fast really amazing dance movements or whatever and uh, you know these are just two different abilities how you move at the end of the day you might be a good boxer you might not be a good ice skater you might have a lot of muscle in your body or muscle in your head for fuck's sake but it's like it's different. It's not always the case we'll see so <clears throat> so what i'm trying to say is like for me okay i've trained my martial arts and i've trained believe you and me in fitness i honestly know two things honestly i know mma is you know good there's a lot you can learn in it you don't have to learn everything the same as you guys these guys don't have to learn about traditional martial arts if they don't want to Kung Fu and stuff but but what i'm saying is i'm not making excuses what i'm saying is, is I, i'll give you the honest one thing is, I know I could have pushed myself further in some ways, like strength-wise, my arms and my muscle and physique. I understand. Uh, everybody's build and body is different, so I can only work with what I can do, health-wise and a lot of different things, okay? And body-wise, but I work very, very hard on my, phys on my physique. I'm, I mean, I'm in much better shape than a lot of people out there. There's a lot of people out there. In terms of the amount of people that don't work out in this world <laughs> and the ones that are in bad health and i don't need to have all the attributes of you know the bodybuilder the mountain climber it, you know it depends what you want to do and what you train for what so if you want to be a boxer and you really want to train your arms like i've recently got this punch bag i'm doing some weights i'm trying to do a few push-ups you know, I'm not trying to be the world champion, whatever, but I'm trying to improve a bit of strength in my arms. Fair enough. My whole life I've been training kicking, training low stance work, rooted stance. So, so I've got very strong legs compared to my arms in terms of like punching power or grappling, you know, like that. But my arms and my whole body in terms of the Kung Fu, as well as my deep rooted stances and leg power and kicking, which I have, uh, I'm not boasting, compared, but I'm saying my overall structure in my body i've trained for kung fu skill literally i've trained for kung fu skill in terms of certain specific kung fu skill we're not talking about iron fucking whatever jacket you know super power qigong fucking shaolin forms in uh, like to that extreme i've done like wushu forms and stuff but i train wing chun you know 
you need more power sometimes in certain techniques still but it's like i train wing chun i train soft ap applicable absorbing techniques that flow with the opponent's energy and use it against them aikido tai chi okay I aikido type skills tai chi okay tai chi bagua things like that ninjutsu tai jitsu bare hands the absorbing techniques the flowing okay the working with the energy of the opponent using it against them it's a different kind of power and it is a fucking amazing power uh, not boasting or anything to, to know these are useful skills the same as the people that do mma out there you've got great skills too but i'm just saying if you if you hold on one second uh, sorry yeah but i'm just saying like uh i had to just cut the video there sorry but i'm just saying like um yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say in short, you know, the, the, the skills don't require a fucking, you know, six pack, loads of muscle in the body, big chest muscles, big arm muscles. Yeah, you've got some power. I mean, the forearms that I train a lot of uh, conditioning as well and stuff, you know, but it's like the skills that I'm training don't require that much. What 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 you see in that, like... Let's talk about it this way. To be a bodybuilder, you need a certain kind of physique. To be a good MMA fighter, you need a certain kind of physique, right? So you look at me and say, man, that guy's not in shape for fucking like good quality MMA in the ring for, right? Because you need a certain kind of physique for that, right? And now I'm not trying to say, well, you know, but, but my martial art can stand up to yours and beat yours and you beat my skinny ass. I'm not saying that, okay? There's situations where you would come and stuck the same way as I would. Nothing's invincible and 100% like that, you know. But the thing is, what I'm saying is I train what I train. And you don't have to train everything. We all train what we train for certain things. They don't have the knowledge. It's like, I think it's almost like they're so ignorant. They, they think I'm trying to say you can be a skinny bastard like me and be a real real top you know level mma fighter oh man i'm still a martial artist man in a dream world. i'm not fucking saying that at all man not at all man you've got to toughen up and do certain things i know that i push myself very hard i put in a lot of effort and the kind of working out i do is, is different you don't see you know how it's beneficial because it's different and you don't see it on the external so much uh, it's in the techniques and did you know right it's the same as MMA or any technique any style any specific technique will work differently in si different situations in some situations they'll work if you apply them that way but you can't apply that to every situation and what I know is the same thing so what I'm doing in my martial arts I know what I know so you know your techniques will work on me like it's like I, I, I see a lot of MMA is like a lot of MMA, right, regardless of you having very good reactive skills or reaction to the opponent's technique and working with that, which they do have. But apart from that, I see a lot of M MMA guys are more like, they're more like, oh, I can just, like, you could come up, walk up to me and do the techniques, right, just take me down and do all this, throw me or whatever, all the, like a rag doll, right? You see what I'm trying to say? It's, it's more like about applying your force on some, uh, forcing techniques upon people. Whereas a lot of Kung Fu training is different, it's more like, I mean, certain ones, you know, in Tai Chi and that, especially in Aikido, it's about using the opponent's whatever he does against him. Certain techniques are for certain techniques. It's about countering and absorbing, that's what it is. So it's not a case of, okay, let me try it, okay, try it, man. And you, and you know this and all that. It's not, it's not a competition between arts, right? Which one's better? We're just saying it's better to know certain knowledge and certain techniques for the average person we're talking about the average person not your tough attitude fucking in the ring and all this necessarily we're talking about just like in your daily life someone comes to grab you or whatever and you're able to, to absorb it cover block however you do it fight back strike he's trying to push you you, you pull you try to choke you you're able to get out of that you know stand rooted throw the guy down whatever it is use your footwork that's what it's about, man. We're training structure overall. So there's a lot of ignorance in in some people who just think MMA, MMA is the only way. They don't understand that traditional martial arts and Kung Fu actually really, really work. Uh, it's a really, really applicable stuff. They just have no knowledge of it. And they look at your body and say, oh, he's not some muscle man. He doesn't know what he's talking about. 
because those skills are very, very, um, you know, um, you know. I mean, fencing is one of the best examples. It really is. Fencing, swift, and Bruce Lee. Bruce, Bruce Lee used to talk about it a lot. It, it, it's far like it's just to the accurate points, but it's like it absorbs like it, it's not. It's not a big heavy. Let's say fucking big thing, big weapon. It's just a thin thing, you know. And you just literally off the off the line. You could be throwing any heavy punch or whatever. All I need to do is just block to the side, very soft, and then you just fall on the spike. Won't really go straight in. It's like it's what it's about. You know, you're, you're like water. You're so soft. You, 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 don't, you don't need to fight force with force. And they're they're just falling. Th it's like they're falling through water, and they're stepping on the spiky stones and cutting their feet up. That's what it's basically like. Your opponent's coming at you. You don't go force with force. It's not a muscle versus muscle. Or who's got? You may have been training in the gym and stuff, but trust me, you'll be a good fighter, and you won't be able, won't be necessarily using all that for this stuff I'm talking about. It's different kinds of training, right? Different. So you've got to respect different arts. That's what it is, right? Different arts for different things. And that's so funny. Right? The, the things are used differently. So for me, I just say quickly. Like for me, it's really funny because for me, I know for myself, I know that. It's funny, I was thinking that last night before I went to bed, I was thinking, yeah, you know, that, you know that, yeah, um, uh, most people I can't beat in a fight, right? Let's say, um, so, uh, uh, let's put it another way, most people, um, I forgot what I was going to say now, I can't, I was going to say so I can't, what, what I'm basically trying to say is, the arts, I forgot what I was going to say last night. I was going to say something to you last night. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Shit. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me think about this. Hold on, Matt. Most people... Um, like... With the skill... Depend basically, it just depends on the opponent, what they're doing. So I know that I can apply these techniques, what I know, to anyone, providing that they're doing that thing. Same for you guys, though, people doing MMA out there, same thing. Your techniques will work, providing you're in the right situation, right? I'm not talking about anyone, any bloody fool can pull a trigger, Bruce Lee, who <laughs> enter the dragon quotes. Any bloody fool can pull a trigger, the guy says, about pulling the gun, shooting the gun. Or you going up to someone punching him in the head, or you insulting people. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, you know, this exchange, this counter. It's a lot of countering. See, Kung Fu is about countering. Uh, I can throw a kick out. I can throw a punch out. But I'm not going to try and, you know, um, uh, touch fire. I'm not going to try and run out into the road. I'm not going to try and uh, try and take down some big fucking bodybuilding guy, am I? No, but when they're doing certain techniques I'm able to throw him down I know that I'm going to throw him down from my physical training that I've done and I'm able to throw him down and I'm able to control him and I'm able to block, absorb regardless of their power whatever power they're using I'm able to absorb it deflect it and strike open areas weak vulnerable points I have some ability in self-defense and this is what it's about so this is, this is what it's about. It's about having some ability. And anybody of any build can train to have these skills. So there's skills people don't know of. And they put this down. And they just don't... They know, they know nothing. Okay? It's, not, it's, not a comp, it's not about comparing traditional to MMA. It's not about uh, comparing physiques either. Because this is a knowledge and a skill. Which what, what I'm trying to say is people don't know about. Of course you don't believe it because you've never felt it. Seeing is believing. Um, one of my teachers says seeing is believing but feeling is the truth. So you need to feel it. You need to put yourself... There's no doubt in my mind, but I know my fucking self. If I was to, tra if I was to train your MMA or these guys, if I was to train that, I'd probably be exhausted in a while because I've not trained like that, that kind of training, obviously, in the gyms and everything like you're doing. I do different training, but it's like I train hard, but it's like different. If I was to train with you guys and you'd be like, oh, there's ground grappling and choking and whatever the fuck, you'd probably 
exhaust the shit out of me. You know, you probably I, I'd realise that my physique's not up, the, up to scratch, and it's hard, real deal training. And I'd learn a lot about the techniques, but I'd learn that yeah, that's why you need the physique because you got me. And they'll think they're so clever because like I didn't fucking know that already. But I'm not gonna put away my kung fu and everything, and chuck that to the side because. I know the experience of what that actually does. And I'm able to chuck big people down. I'm able to uh, cover and do all these techniques. I know it works. Not in every situation, but I know what works when we train realistically. So what I'm trying to say is, these people are the same. They don't know what the fuck they're missing. They don't understand it. So if they were to step in and really try, I'm not saying if you've tried it with Mr. Lee, Mr. fucking Joe, whatever his name is, someone out there, who's you've had a bad experience learning with there's, you know there's good and bad teachers good and bad experiences and things you can have and make for yourself well but, yeah, but i'm saying if you were to train with someone properly and train and, and train it and study in different schools and train over time and practice you learn about the absorbing and the techniques it's hard to find good teachers now in true kung fu and and, and things like that even taiji for example with the, the, the applicable fighting techniques it's hard to find good teachers for that now it's like a lot of old people just do it for exercise you know but for the real real skill and the aikido and that same thing bagua these arts you, you, they got some real real good uh, applicable techniques wing chun as i say you know um and you will learn how to absorb deflect and uh work with the line and and, and uh and you'll see how much, because you have to be relaxed. You're not using uh, physique and all that gym training you do. You're not using all that muscle and all that on your body. It's about simply cutting the line, absorbing, and working with their structure. They're working with the flaws of their own. And you're, you're, like, you're, like, you're able to win with a simplicity. So, yeah, you can train to be stronger, and we do train to still be stronger than a normal person. Yeah, and more, much more flexible than a normal person as well. So we train a lot of fitness. You have to have fitness in it. You can't have no, no fitness. But it's a it's a misconception. It's a mis, a mis it's a wrong belief to think that you've got to have this um, the same kind of working out for different disciplines and the same kind of body physique and stuff. It's just wrong. It's totally wrong. Okay. So if I was trying to do what you guys are doing then yeah, I could be well ahead. I'm far behind in that. Okay, my punching and kicking and stuff. I used to do kickboxing for years. I'm trying to build up my strength gradually. You know, you give, give a guy a break and everybody's body's different. But there's guys out there, girls, men and women, everybody can learn certain things. And uh, what I know is, is fucking deep as well. Trust me, right? So you, your books, I've got my books in terms of my life knowledge of what I've actually studied. I'm not saying I can stand up to you, but I'm saying... We stand up together and you try something, you had that experience humbly to learn, you fucking will learn something. You know, and in a real situation, I'm not getting wound up, I'm just saying, you will actually know what's bullshit and what's not. And I close the door on that one, y'all. Yeah?